Hey guys, welcome back. This is Creamy Caesar here. I wanted to start a new series. Uh, a couple streamers I watch have been picked up RimWorld recently, and I watch them, you know, sometimes when I'm eating dinner or working on editing videos or, you know, whatever. And I got some a little bit of free time. And uh, it's gotten me feeling like I want, you know, gotten me in the mood to play it again. This is, uh, this is actually my most played game on Steam. I have uh, over 300 hours in RimWorld. So, it's not going to be someone learning the game. I will, uh, for those that aren't familiar with it, I will go over, uh, you know, things as we play the game to give you a better idea. I do have the two DLCs. We have Royalty and Ideology. We have a bunch of mods. I'll try and post the list maybe I'll take a sh screenshot of this list and uh, put it in a link in the description of the video or I can actually just slowly actually this is what I'll do we'll just slowly scroll through this list if you're interested in any of the mods feel free to leave a comment and hopefully I can tell you which one did which so not a whole lot um some people play with like hundreds and hundreds of mods. But anyway, we're going to start a new colony. If you can see here, if you're familiar at all, I have a lot of Warhammer 40,000 mods. So I wanted to do a playthrough where we kind of role play as uh, Imperial Guard troopers, at least for this first series. We'll do Astra Militarum Imperial Guard troopers. That have crash landed on a planet. For those not familiar with RimWorld, it's a uh, colony sim, base building sim kind of game. You start a new colony. You pick how you want to start. The game usually starts you with crash landed, which gives you three people or pawns, as they'll well they'll be referred to from now on, as they kind of look like pawns from a chessboard. Um, and you kind of randomly choose, you'll see. We're gonna go with this. This is a custom scenario, Imperial Guard. It starts with four people, and it starts us with the actual weapons uh, from the mods that they is used in like Warhammer 40K. So it's a little more thematically appropriate. So we're gonna go Imperial Guard, establish an outpost. You see I have a bunch. I have some that don't work too. Now the Storyteller, determines what happens during your game, the rate at which things happen, the difficulty of the events uh, as the game progresses, as your colony gets more and more uh, actually wealthy. The more wealth your colony has, be it you have more food or even clothes or you have a ton of weapons or drugs or whatever, your, colony, your colony's wealth increases. And so the threats that your colony face will also increase. So Cassandra Classic just slowly ramps up the difficulty for you. Uh, BB Chillax I think is like a little bit easier. She takes a, it's like a slower build up. Randy, it's sand. He, like the first event could be like, I don't know, some hard ass shit. Here's some uh, custom ones from Warhammer Universe. We're not gonna use these. These are actually hard. I've played these before. Um, these are pretty hard. These are like you get constantly raided by guys that are very powerful. And uh, yeah, so we'll do we'll do Castanch Classic. We're gonna do Strive to Survive, which is like like medium difficulty. Reload anytime; it doesn't matter because we're gonna play it till we live or we die. Globe coverage would do a hundred percent. For the seed, we're gonna do Armageddon. If you're familiar with Warhammer 40K at all, Armageddon is a world, uh, the world that's constantly at war, almost constantly at war. There's been a lot of uh, wars waged on the planet, or the system, Armageddon. So to make it more closer to that thematic, we'll do, uh, we'll do three, these are factions, these are other factions that appear in the world. We're going to boost the Civilian Outlander Union up to three. 
leave the rough in there. We're gonna make a bunch of Imperial Guard regiments, Cadian regiments. Do two Mechanicus. We got Crute, Taw, Vespid. These are all kind of the same uh, faction in Warhammer. The Tau are like, they're kind of meme, memely referred to as space communists. And they integrate these other alien groups into their society. The Crute and the Vespid. Vespid are like kind of flying bug creatures. And Crute are, I don't know how to really describe them. They are kind of like uh, bipedal, like humanoid shaped dinosaur aliens that will eat. Um, they're, I don't want to say victims, but if they're in battle, they'll eat uh, the dead of like the other army and stuff and they can, they can mutate and gain powers from them and stuff. Anyways, not, we don't need to explain all these things, but Drukari, Dark Eldar, same thing. Evil space elves, essentially. Twisted uh, torturers, and they're into drugs, and a um, bunch of other bad stuff. We're going to leave those as one. Same with the Craft World, Eldar Strike Force. We'll leave that as one. This is just Rimworld. We're going to actually get rid of that. Same with these three. Tribes, so they're low technology. Some are nicer than others. We're going to get rid of those. Same Shattered Empire. This is part of Rimworld. We're going to make this tailored to Warhammer 40,000. Now, Orcs, Armageddon. The One of the major factions that wages war on this planet is Orcs. So we're going to put six Orc Warbands, two Feral Orc Warbands. Uh, we're going to get rid of the Mechanoid Hive. This is just base Rimworld faction. These guys are hard. Mechanoid hides, hives are like a later game thing. They'll pop up. They're like robots, insects kind of, and they're one of the harder enemies. This is part of Warhammer, Demons of Chaos. You can only have the one. Same with the Necrons. Greenskin Wa. I haven't encountered this yet in a game, but I imagine it's, it's orcs, essentially, but it's going to be a lot of orcs. Tyranids are a insectoid hive mind kind of thing. They consume all living matter. We're going to bump that up to two. I feel like these are going to be a later game threat. These are going to be very hard, probably, which will be cool. Insect gene line. This is base rim world. We're going to get rid of that. So we have, besides these civilians, which are also base rim world stuff, we have a lot of. Well, we have all uh, Warhammer 40,000 factions. Should be cool. So it's like we've we've been in uh, orbits on our ship, took part in a space battle, and we've had to uh, evacuate our ship, and we're going to crash land on the planet Armageddon, and we'll have to continue the war on the ground as the Imperial Guard, the small group of Imperial Guard. Now, the next screen, it's generating the world. We're gonna pick our landing spot. Uh, so what I like to do, we'll go advanced. I like a large map. Gives us more resources to work with, more animals, more rocks, more trees, whatever, more land. Starting season, auto. We're gonna pick a random site. I don't want anything too extreme. You can scroll through the entire planet and you'll see there's these hexagons. And that's your starting site. You can see these little icons are where other factions are. There's orcs, cult camp 14, encampment six. There's dark Eldar. There's a group of Cadian. There's some more Cadians. This is, what was this, Crute or something like that. So you can see the whole planet's covered in a mix of orcs and Cadians and other factions. So we'll have a pick a random sites. This is actually a cool planet. I like how it's laid out. We can kind of reach everywhere. Um, oh look, they, it's tall down here on the glacial shields. Yeah, we're not gonna do glacial shield. I also have this mod that adds 
Uh, different landforms and stuff. I don't think we're gonna do that. We might do that for the next series. Next series, we'll switch to maybe playing an orc warband. So, let's find something. Not the glacial shield. Let's... Arid Shrubland. Um... We got some enemies nearby. We have some potential allies nearby. What is this? Sandbar. That's new. Alright. Not desert. Desert can be hard. Not glacial shield. Boreal forest. Boreal forest. Forests of coniferous trees. Despite the harsh winters, boreal forests sustain a diverse population of small and large animals and have warm summers. All right, let's try this. I've never... Growing period, 20, 60 days. No, that's not so good. All right, let's maybe not boreal forest. Tropical rainforest. All right, let's do tropical rainforest. We're near a river. Not that that matters. Um, yeah. Is there one that has like a little more stone? Yeah, let's do this. Small hills. Landform, Eastern Cliff. Okay, so we got a special landform here. Caves. Okay, so we're gonna select that. Oh, you can look up in the factions tab and see the names of each one. Oh, Cadian 69th Regiment. Nice. All right. Now, this is part of the Ideology DLC, which is like, um, well, it's you pick your ideology, essentially. Uh, we'll create a custom one, create custom. This is added through the mod, Cult Imperialis, and we can add a bunch of different things. We're gonna add human, uh, are we gonna add human primacy? We can do supremacist. Our people should dominate all others. That's pretty... That's pretty close. You can pick any number of these. I mean, we can pick... You know, we can pick a bunch of this stuff. I don't... I don't do this too much. Uh, acceptable. Execution. Execution required, respected if guilty. These are all, again, these are all part of this ideology expansion. Organ use, acceptable. I think everything else is fine. Physical love, spouse only. Um, free, research normal. Yeah, we're not gonna, not gonna choose skull spike. Disapprove. Pain is virtue. Supremacists. Okay, so apparently they want skull spikes. I don't know. Alright, so let's edit this. <clears throat> Leader. Uh, will be. I don't know, we'll just say it's a general. We're a military unit, so general. Array. Do we have anything else we can add? Their Adeptus Mechanicus. No, no, no. Beret. Okay. Done. Now this one is the Commissar. They are the morale booster, I should say. Let's remove these. We don't need that. Two rolls. This is a leader of our colony, of our group. Obviously, general, because we're a military group. Commissar is, um, yeah, like I said, morale. They can also be the leader in Warhammer lore, uh, but mainly they're uh, boisterous. You know, they give their give speeches, and uh, they're infamous, infamously known for executing uh, their fellow soldiers if they show signs of weakness or retreat or corruption, things like that. So, we'll keep the funeral. Get rid of this. Gladiator duel. 
Okay, maybe we had Gladiator Duel. Gladiator Duel, that seems cool. Additional reward. Nearby faction, Goodwill. Ah, oh, we'll get a random recruit. How about that? I f that's the name of it, High Fight. Buildings. Ritual seat. Let's uh get rid of this stuff here. We'll do a medium altar. We'll do yeah, we get statues through our mods. We get these two statues. We change that? Nah. Relics. Let's get some cool relics here. A lot of this stuff is again added through mods. We're gonna do chain sword. Supreme Relic. Let's do a um let's do a heavy bolter. Super remnant. And let's do a Thunder Hammer, maybe? Or do we have a um What is it called? What is what is the one I'm thinking of? Not plasma sword, power sword. Power sword. Long shots over short shots. That's fine. No venerated animals. That's dumb. Uh, we can get rid of this. Actually, it's not gonna matter. All right. So we've made my our ideology again. You can. I'm, a lot of times, I I completely play without doing ideology. It's kind of a weird expansion. Now, this is the meat of the game. We get into our actual characters. So, I have this mod called Prepare Carefully where we can cheat. Uh, but what you do is, in our scenario, we have four characters that we start with. There's a pool of other characters that can show up later in the game. And these all have stats. Well, they all have names, ages, uh, gender, they all have, oh, faction. They have backgrounds that improves their stats. Things they're incapable of determined by their stats. Like this says the dash, they can't do any artistic or any plant work. And they have other traits, which can be good or bad. Undergrounder, they prefer to live, you know, underground. Annoying voice, they're not good socially. Neurotic, uh, they can have a mental breakdown easy, e easier. They have relationships with other pawns, other other uh, characters on the planet or in your in your colony. I mean, sometimes you even get raided. Uh, like we could we could use this guy and we'll start, and a hundred days later, you know, his father can can be part of a group that's raiding us or something. So they might have to kill his father. Now, the pawns will have different stats. All these are a little self-explanatory. You can hover over them to learn more about what each one means. These will grow as they perform their tasks throughout the game. So if we have them, if we have this guy cook, you know, if after he cooks enough, this will go up even more. He'll become more proficient at it. He'll get faster at it. He can do better, cook better meals. Same with construction. He's a pretty high construction person, so he can build better. Um, better things uh, like a construction level 8 can build like a solar panel once we unlock it but a construction level 2 cannot build a solar panel same with all these like my uh, he's a good miner so he'll mine things quickly but anyway generally unless you have the mod that lets you cheat and let you pick exactly what you want which we're not going to do because that's yes because that's lame Generally, you hit randomize. Oh, also they can have health conditions. Let's see if we have any. Anybody here? Left ear has a bite scar, so this might constantly hurt him a little bit. Oh, this guy's got a bunch of uh, body modifications. He has a bion bionic arm. He's, I don't even know what those really do. I don't know what this does. Stone skin gland. Okay, so that that's like armor built into his skin immunity gain speed is an old gunshot wound 
people can have addictions to drugs and stuff like that. So, we're going to randomize until we get a good group of people that we want. So generally, I want to start with, I'm going to ignore these other ones. We'll just start from the top down. Uh, first one I want is our commissar. I want them to be good in melee. I want them to be good in social. And whatever else. See, now this is good, but they can't do a lot of things. Even if these were at zero, if these were all at zero instead of the dash, then I would take this character. Especially with these traits, super immune, fast learner. That would be good. So we're not gonna do that, unfortunately. Skipping over some good ones. So again, we're looking for high melee, high social. Uh, this is not terrible. Melee will grow quickly. Same with social. That would go pretty quick. Love enhancer. Okay. It's a female, age 14. Chronological, chronological age 99 years. Biological age 14. So chronolog chronological age meaning since they, I guess, left on the spaceship from planet Earth or, or whatever, compared to Earth, they're 99 years old. Uh, but biologically, they are 14. Bionic ear, bionic tongue. What else can they do? So they're good with plant work. All right, we'll leave this person. They're kind of a good all-around individual, and they can get better at these other things as the game goes on. High world or two, I like that. Okay. All right, so now we need these other three. We need them to be shooters. We need shooters, we need construction, we need miners, we need cooking, we need medical, we need intellectual. So let's keep rolling. This isn't bad. Shooter with the fire for construction and plants. Fast walker, pretty careful, uh, ca incapable of artistic and cleaning. Fortress worlder, underhive ganger. All right, we'll keep them. That's pretty thematic. So we need a cook. Cook you want? Yeah, something like this. Really, they can't do plants. They're good at crafting, which is, which is good. That comes that comes along later in the game. A little bit. They're good at mining. All right, now this final person is gonna be tough. We need them to be good at shooting, like a six plus shooter. We also need them to be medical and intellectual. Oh, that's really good. Capable of dumb labor. So they can't haul, they can't clean. That's okay. We have two that can't clean. Great memory. Sickly. Pretty. Gastro analyzer. Cooking speed plus five. Healing enhancer. Wow, that's really good. Coagulator. Oh, they're pretty good. Okay. They're really good. And mining. Double fire. Okay, so seven medical. I wish it had a fire. So it would grow faster. But that's... That's decent. Very good intellectually. Good shooter and good melee. Alright. Explosive... <laughs> explosives expert is their background. Alright, so we're just going to do these four. We're not going to worry about these guys at all. So we're going to start the game. Now... You can control the pawns. Essentially, the game is you give them orders to do things, and then they, they, the AI, you know, kind of handles the in between. And uh, that's cool. Okay, so we're landing in a dropship. All right, let's pause the game. The game has different speeds. There's pause, one speed, double speed, triple speed. I also have this mod that shows instead of having to click bio to see their stats, it'll show it right here. 
So I like to rank them. Uh, if you hold down right click, you can move them. <clears throat> I like to put them based on their ability to fight. So when trouble comes, I can easily choose the characters from left to right. All right, so this is our best shooter. Let's give her the auto gun, which is a rifle. Take the auto pistol, which is automatic pistol. And you take the chainsword, which is a melee weapon. Now, let's take a look at this. We got a lot of caves. Is there any bugs in the caves? Okay, so it looks like we're making a mountain base. What are these? Ancient centipede shell. Okay, so those are part of that robotic insect group I talked about earlier that we actually removed from the game. You'll find a lot of these. These were added in later patches. It's like random debris. Look, there's some rhinoceroses here. What is this? A tapir? Yep, tapir. Okay. So... Lesson one, number one here for new players. You'll see when they land, they get a bunch of items. I believe the wood started out like this. You'll see it has this red X here, which means forbid, uh, which means your pawns won't touch these items if they have the red X. So if we just double click on these, it'll highlight all of them. We hit F on our keyboard, unforbid them. So our pawns can pick those up. Where were those other ones? Oh, there's some food over here. Yeah, we're gonna unforbid that so they can come over here and loot that. So, first things first, we're gonna go over here in the bottom right. We're gonna toggle the fertility overlay. So there's some good fertile ground over there. You see this marsh is not really good for building on. Same with over here. So what I think we're gonna do is we're going to move down here, and we can kind of purpose, what is this, ancient bed? Now look, and this goes off the map. Oh, that's not, that might not be good. There's a lot of good resources back here, too. Okay, we're going to repurpose this. So what we're going to do here is actually first we're going to go into the work tab now this we won't do manual priorities yet but we'll do it in a few days game time this tells you this tells your colonists what they're allowed to, to do for work so like catra catra galore cannot be a doctor right now but she has the fire for the doctor her skills a little bit lower it's four but we're gonna hit that let her do that kelly we're gonna have her hunt Everybody grow, everybody mines. And four, you can, you can research some stuff. Three, three. You can see these boxes change colors depending on their skill. See they have zero here with the red outline, which means they're really not good at that stuff. Um, later on, we'll do priority, which Use the number use this number system to rank which which are more important activities. So now this architect tab, we're going to place a zone. Stockpile zone. This is gonna tell our pawns where to put all these items, essentially. You can make specific you can make specific zones for specific items. But right now, we're just going to make a general zone for everything. So everything's close at hand for us to use. Now, I'm going to use an order. I'm going to use the planner to kind of plan out how our base is going to look. We're going to have to be doing a lot of mining. I don't like doing mining. I don't like doing mountain bases uh, just because it's so slow. I know they're they're great defensively. Um, they're super easy to defend and, you know, you get a lot of material from, from doing a mountain base, uh, but I don't really enjoy it. We're just going to use what we have 
available to us. So we kind of have to in this game. Let's unforbid that. Unforbid that. Okay. All right, so let's plan this out a little bit here. We need to make like a little barracks room. So we'll do, let's see. So like this. So in the future, I'm gonna break this up into separate rooms. Some people don't like to do that. Some people like to just have a big barracks the entire time that their whole group sleeps in. Um, I like to do the separate room thing. All right, so now we're going back to orders. We're gonna hit mine and we are going to mine. Uh, we're gonna mine that out for now. And we're going to mine this and all that. And then we're gonna hit the number three to go triple speed. And our folks are gonna come down here and get to work. Oh, everybody's working, okay. Found some compacted machinery, that's good. We need that later to make machines. All right, we need to at least clear out this area here. Let's cancel this for now. Let's cancel that as well. That's not really the focus. We need to get at least one room for tonight so our people can sleep in beds. So as they clear that out, we're going to go to furniture. Bed. We don't have any wood in our stockpile zone, so it but we have steel. So it says make a steel bed, but if you click it Get this with different materials. We're gonna hit wood. We're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna put a torch lamp down so we can have lighting in the room. Put a structure. We're gonna make a wooden door so it's enclosed. For our orders, we're gonna chop wood because we're gonna need a bunch of wood, especially at the start. We're gonna cut all these down. This bamboo tree, cool. All right, let's take this, build another one. Uh, can't, can you prioritize? So this is, you can manually tell the pawns what to do, but generally you can just leave it running. I'm gonna tell her to prioritize working on the torch. So, um, so they have light in there. They don't like when they're working in darkness. need you to prioritize working on the beds. If you hold down the shift button, you can give them multiple orders at the same time. So she's going to be, she's kind of the only one working. All right, some people are gonna be sleeping outside. All right, that's all that's getting done today. Work. This is their schedule. Uh, sometimes the blue tells them when to sleep. This, you don't have to put in, essentially, especially if you're new to the game, you can kind of not mess around with this screen at all and you'll be fine the entire game. I like to give them two hours waking up and two hours before bed. They can do whatever they want. Uh, but then the rest of the time, they actually have to be working. And so now, actually we can... Go back to doing this. And for day two, we have to, oh, uh, let's look at the fertility thing here. It's up here. All right, let's try and get some of this. So we go to zone, growing zone. You kind of have to do this by, if you don't do it day one, you need to do it day two. We're gonna put a growing zone down by clicking and dragging. Um. Pretty big. Let's go 10 by 14. And this we're gonna make rice. A bunch of this stuff is added for mods. The base game doesn't have a lot of these plants, but it does have rice. Rice grows quickly. 
right, so we need to get the rice paddy up and running. This is going to give us a bunch of wood, too, because the pawns will automatically chop down all those trees and clear out all that other shit that's in that zone. Kelly, can you haul? She can't. She's one of the two that can't haul. Or can't clean. So they're starting to plant, which is good. This more fertile area, the plants will go grow quicker, which will be good for us. We'll get food even sooner. Okay, while they're doing that, I'm going to plan out our kitchen. Uh, so what actually we want to do is I'm probably gonna open this section up. I'm probably gonna close this off and this will be our main doorway right here. So, we'll do, so we'll go like this actually. This will be our kitchen, eating area, entertainment area. <clears throat> Gonna make a separate room like that size or that size? Let's do the second one. This is where the food is gonna be stored. Uh, you, I want to, especially with the mountain base, I want to have these, I want to have the food storage area kind of touch the outside here because eventually we're gonna put a refrigerator in here. We need the exhaust from the refrigerator to go outside. All right, good. So they got the majority of that done. We got a bunch of wood. We'll get the rest of that done tomorrow. So now we're going to give more orders to mine. Mine that out. Uh, count by three like this. Mine that out. Okay, and we'll build walls to fill in uh, the spaces there. Any ruins nearby? There sure are. Granite. Okay, I'm gonna tell them to deconstruct this. Let's go to orders. Deconstruct. This will give us granite blocks that we can use to build uh, better walls. Need meal source. Recreation. Oh, yeah, recreation. Let's throw down this horseshoe pin. So if we hit the letter T, it's gonna show us beauty in the area. Let's do it, uh... <clears throat> beauty 0 0.2. You're never gonna find great beauty just out in nature for some reason. I don't know why. Um... Okay, so they're getting better at mining, so they're gonna be good. They're gonna be a good miner. But the pawns do enjoy recreation. So for now we have the horseshoe. We'll use that in the mornings. Actually, I'll make sure that they use that in the morning and before bed. This is recreation, so it'll force them to do that. Then they'll go and eat. Nice, so we're gonna have our We're gonna have our kitchen, dining room, we'll probably put a pool table in here and the poker table. Should have all this cleared out by tomorrow. Visitors. Katie and 1670 shock troops are visiting Colin. They seem to have seems they have a few items to trade. We're gonna try and trade with them. Can you uh haul? Tell him to haul. Actually, I want you to haul this. Silver is money in the game. You can mine silver. You can get it from, you know, selling goods. There's trader caravans that come by. Uh, you get it. Sometimes raiders are carrying silver. If you kill them, you can get it. But we have to have it in our stockpile zone. Otherwise, it won't count uh, that we have it. Uh, so let's take their medicine and like five components. 
Crater is insufficient silver. Oh, 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 oh. No, I want your medicine. I was selling him ours. I want your medicine and your components. Yes. It's good to trade with these people too. It's going to increase our um, standing with them. And they are decked out a bit. Oh, I forgot to set the clothing. That's fine. The clothing they prefer. Um, sometimes they leave you gifts. You know, if you buy a bunch of stuff with them or sell a bunch of stuff to them. Uh, but as long as you have good standing with them, you get uh, you get a little bit of perks and stuff. So it's good. Essentially, all the other factions on the planet are aliens, too, so we want to keep our interactions with humans uh, to good interactions. Hey, you're not a good miner. Did you haul the rest of that? You did not. I want you to haul the rest of that down here, please. So, did we disassemble this? Sure did, so granite blocks. So we're gonna use those granite blocks to make granite wall here. Then we're gonna make wooden walls here. I'm just pausing the game. Uh, we will do this, put a door there. We have to mine this out now so we can get in. Okay, this is our first event. Usually with, Cass with Cassandra Classic, it's always a creature that's gone mad. So let's let this monkey get a little bit closer. All right, seems good. All right, so we're going to select our three fighters here. We're going to press the R button, which is recruit. And now we can control them manually, for the most part. Kelly, let's move you over here. Can't, let's move you over there. These stones provide a little bit of cover. Perfect. They killed the mad monkey. All right, let's put some furniture in here. Need a table, build a two by four table. Give it some dining chairs so they can sit and eat. Pawns do not like, they do not like it when they can't eat at a table. They get very upset. So we're gonna make a fueled stove because we don't have electricity just yet, but we'll have electricity in a few days. And we're gonna put a butcher table. And I put a twitch right there, let's put one there. And it's good to put stools in front of your production stations. Gives like a little mood bonus. I think maybe they work faster or something. All right, so I want them to finish this up. We'll have to I chop down a little more wood. How much wood do we have? 200? Yeah, we're going to need more. We're actually going to start another farm plot. I like to give a little bit of space between my farm plots. Yeah, let's go like that, and this will be potatoes. Uh, because you can get blight. Your plants can contract blight, and that can spread, or will spread. Uh, so if you give a little space between, uh, you can kind of mitigate that from spreading between all your crops. Um, yeah. That's why I like to do three tile space. Okay, I want you to work on the lights first. Because then you'll work faster if the lights are on. There you go. And let's build a copy of this. There. Alright, so we are the 420th 
80 inch shock regiment. Somebody already took the 69th. What's the settlement's name? Community town. Toothland. Cactusness. I like that. Okay. All right. So now we got a butcher table. We go to bills. Add bill. We're gonna hit butcher creature. We're gonna have to do this forever. But whenever there's a dead creature, like that monkey we killed before, it's just gonna take it over here. We're gonna butcher it. Oh. And we're gonna put a zone in this room. Hit storage. We're gonna clear all. And then we're gonna accept food. So nothing except food gets stored in there. And up here, we're gonna disallow food. Actually, we're gonna allow chunks. These are chunks, rock chunks. So, it's gonna shortly find out. Yep, she can't put it there, she has to put it there. Put a light in here. So now, the food will be close to the dining table. So when people are hungry, they'll grab the food and eat at the table. Meteorite, compacted steel. Okay, that's good. Not gonna mind that just yet. We have a lot to get done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna split up these. Split up this barracks into rooms, actually. So what we'll do is... Actually, what we'll do is this. Uh, one, two, where do we do? Two. So we're gonna mine that one out. It's four. Right, and it'll be, I have to wait for them to wake up. It's gonna be like, this, correct, whoops. Yeah, that looks correct, okay. All right, reinstall the bed. Install the bed. Install. Sensory mechanite. Kelly Blaster has gotten sick from sensory mechanites. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. So sensory mechanites are just... It's like some disease. Yeah, she's going to be in pain for a long time. They don't go away for a long, long time, fortunately. Our snake? No. Do we come with an animal? No, we don't have an animal. There's just a snake here. That's not good. Meteor shower. Several large meteorites have struck ground in the area. They left behind large lumps of resources. Ooh, silver. Uranium. Um, get that ship chunk. Not good to do the silver right now. That's good. That's a lot of money. But we don't want to do it right now because we don't want to boost up the value. Group of Tau. Shash something Tashvar have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. What does he have? He's got a pulse pistol. Got snotling leather Armageddon pattern trench coat. Okay, he's attacking immediately. Wait for him to get a little bit closer. Okay, I need you to set up over here, guys. Ed Meter, I need you to run back before you get shot. Where's he at? He's coming in. Edmater, we can just let him do his own thing. Go up here. Kelly, get behind that tree. Can't get behind that tree. Probably gonna get... 
Oh god. Really shoot. Have to be careful he doesn't get shot. Ooh, like he just got shot by his own people. Actually, you <clears throat> don't tolerate aliens. Kill him. Humans in the Warhammer universe don't uh don't tolerate aliens. Okay, we're gonna have to make a little corpse zone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an area over here, clear all, but corpses. Hold on one sec. Not animal corpses. Uh, animal corpses are fine. Uh, strip him of his gear. Get the pulse pistol. Minor break risk. So, the other thing is, you have to keep their mood up, or they'll have a... Here's pain, huh? Sick, disturbed sleep. Be sick with... Ah, uh, she has the sensory mechanites. Kind words, very low expectations. So you get mood boosters from different things. Like if we give her a bedroom and we dress it up nice, with nice furniture, she'll get a boost from that. Instead, she's getting a negative boost because our barracks is kind of a piece of shit. Yeah, can you, uh, work on that? So what we're going to do is... How much does this take? 20. So we can make two of these. Heli. The potted plants will boost... Uh, will boost the mood in the room. We're gonna put potted plants in. We need to find another... Ruins to dismantle. Yeah, in it. Okay. Take all this apart. Probably uh, quicker to just find from the order menu. Select it. Look at this thing. Ancient Warwalker Torso. That's cool. I hope in the future you can, uh, I don't know, refurbish those things. Nice. We got a bunch of food. Oh, and we built the uh, stove. We built the stove. It's a fueled stove. It needs wood. To work but again we're gonna go to bills add bill and if you're playing base rim world with no mods this list is gonna look a lot smaller but what we're gonna do is cook simple meal times four so every time they cook they make four meals we're gonna do it until we have uh so we have four people we're gonna do it till we have 32. a little more than what we need uh but it's always good in case we run out of food or something We'll have some extra, some extra food. Nice, so we're gonna have a bunch of food. A haul, tell these to haul all these away. And the next thing we're gonna do is Smooth. Where's our smooth surface? Here we go. Smooth the floors. If you hit T, you'll see there's a lot of negative beauty. The rough floors and the rocks and all that shit. So beauty here, minus 4.8, minus 6, minus 5. So that determines for the pawns whether a room is beautiful or not. So... Ellie has malaria. Who is our doctor? Ellie or Catrick Trigalore. Need you to enter her right away, please. So with a disease like malaria, oh man, and she has the sensory mechanite. She's gonna have a rough time. She'll spend most of it in bed though, so that's good. She needs to develop immunity. You see the top where it says malaria in parentheses minor, and there's a percentage that's increasing. She needs to 
develop 100% immunity before that reaches 100%. Otherwise, uh, she dies. She just dies from malaria, essentially. So she did have good tending. Um, no, and somebody got food poisoning. That's not good. And Kelly got food poisoning. Good job. Okay. All right. We might lose Kelly. Kelly might die. She, uh, she is in a lot of pain. Her immunity is building now, so that's good. This food it should be able to harvest. Yeah, today or tomorrow. Got a bunch of food in here. All right, so we'll be good. We need to make everybody's little rooms better. Gonna plan out the next set of rooms. Do another hallway. good to get rooms ready ahead of time because we're gonna get uh we'll get an event generally that first event we had the oh is this a ch jaguar jaguar just killed a cassowary all right well if we can take that cassowary and cut it up that would be good Oink. it's ours now mr jaguar nice extra food to hold us over. Who's our constructor? Ant. What are you doing, Cant? I feel like Cant's doing everything. She is the backbone of our... of our colony right now. Who's major? Yeah, Kelly. I know Kelly. Oh, bad treatment on malaria. That's not good. It's probably gonna catch up. Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah. Gonna pass. Malaria's gonna pass our immunity. It's gonna be close. Alright, we have to wait until she can be tended again. And we have to have him do it ASAP. Hopefully we get a better... Hopefully he does a better job. We have to put a roof over this stuff, because a lot of that stuff will start to degrade. See what it says. Ooh, quality 17%. That's not good. Okay, Kelly might die, like I said. That's fine. Yes, alright. We build a roof, we go to zone. Build roof area. And we click and drag. But somebody... Put a roof up. So I'm going to connect it to here and to here. If you extend it too far out, like they might not be able to build it right here because it's too far away from a support, you know, column or whatever. I thought I put, I thought I told them to put a uh, porch out here in the hallway. What are you doing, Can't? What's wrong with you? Food poisoning. We got a lot of food poisoning. Okay. Mm. Ellie is having a mental breakdown. Okay. Can she be tended in four more hours? All right. We really need Catrigalore to, uh, which is medical. It's at four. Okay. Not going to be good. Really need to have him have a good tend. Fires in 1.1 days. Ooh, can you clean? Everybody's getting food poisoning because there's dirt on the ground over here. Okay. That should be better. Colonist needs treatment. Oh no. 
Who needs treatment? Yeah, Kelly. Oh, but she's having a mental breakdown, so we can't, uh... We can't treat her, can we? Can you go back to sleep, please, Kelly? Alright, as long as we can get her through... Ugh. We can just get her through this. What's wrong with you? Food poisoning. Uncomfortable soaking wet. Eight without a table. Darkness. Recreation supplies. Tired. Intense pain. Okay. I need you... You can't tend to Kelly yet. I need you to tend to Kelly now. He's gonna... He's about to have a mental breakdown too. Exhaustion? I know, man. I know you're tired, but you know what, bud? This is, we're on triple speed, too. You see how slow he's moving? This is on one time speed. He is exhausted. You need to tend to her. Give us something better than 25%. 0 percent. Okay, she is doomed. She's gonna die from malaria. Alright. He's down. Rescue him, please. Go to bed, man. Starvation. She's gonna die. Can anybody else? Doctor? He can. He can. Okay. Kelly's back up on her feet. How? Oh, because she's about to die from hunger. Uh, she's gonna die from malaria before we can tend it again. There's no way. Okay. Dude, go to sleep. Alright, let's set this to... Set this to anything. For Mr... I worked him too hard, maybe. What is- what are you doing, Kent? What are you doing? Now she's gonna work on the floor. Kelly is about to die. Trigalort, they'll sleep outside. Kelly is about to die. 69%. No way. There might be a chance. It's going to be close. We'll have to watch her closely. It's going to be very, very close. Oh boy. I wish I had them tend to her earlier. Now, oh, he's gonna die from it. Damn. It's not gonna be able to catch up. Just the immunohancer and stuff too, right? Yep. Goodbye, Kelly. Sorry. This is what happens in the jungle. Yep. Begin the ritual. Select a focus object and click the Begin Eulogy of Emperor of Mankind command. A grave containing Kelly's corpse. Okay. her over here it was a shame dude go to bed my mother Kelly died oh my friend Kelly my mother Kelly oh well 
Okay, we're gonna put her corpse in the pile up here, I guess. Yeah, there's another corpse up there. Can you build the grave camp? Can you bury, uh... Prioritize burying her, please. Commissar rolled unfulfilled. Uh, how do I promote? Sign roll. Oh, we need a ritual spot. Miscellaneous. Right, put it here, I guess. Begin roll change. Commissar. Begin. Well, change has begun. Oh, they're doing their little, uh... Oh my god, look, what's with the skulls? And Trigolor. Yeah, she's, she's got social. You have to boost that up. Successful. And we got a quest. A group of poor travelers are approaching. Oh, let's... Hold on. Prioritize... Burying Kelly. Uh, where'd our quests go? A group of poor travelers are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 30 silver. They want the silver. So they can buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. You can give items to the travelers. The travelers will move on after one day. Travelers are not part of any faction. If you wish, you can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without diplomatic consequence. The charity quest. Travelers who are seeking... Wait, what? I've been betrayed. Because you got attacked by a panther? Alright, maybe we can capture this guy. Oh no, he's running away. Okay. Never mind. You got attacked by a panther, man. That's not my fault. What are these? Baboons? Awesome. Okay. We need to have the funeral. Begin the eulogy. Carry forward. This is a mod as well, by the way. That adds the, the little speech bubbles. Heartwarming eulogy. Everyone participating in the ritual gets plus eight mood for six days. That's good. 72%. Ambrosia sprouts. We're not gonna mess with that. You a night owl? Oh no, he's a quick sleeper, that's why. Alright, let's cancel the orders in here for now. Please, let's uh, try and make these rooms nice. Put a door here eventually. Alright guys, well that's a good end for this video, I think. We got went pretty long. I wanted to try and keep these a little short, but... Maybe we'll just end up be doing an hour, like all my other videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did like the video, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. I'll have a new one up of these up every single day. Uh, so check back in again tomorrow night, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, for the next episode of our Warhammer 40K RimWorld playthrough. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.